right off the bat you're going to hear a sound in the background that is my fan I have it blowing on my camera because it's very humid down here in my studio and my camera sometimes overheats but guys let's get started with what I want to tell you today and just right off the bat that's not going to do no that green screen background no we're going to change it alright let's change it now all right, now that would do. That's more appropriate. By the way, that right there is a creek that we fished at mm, about a month ago. Okay, let's get started. As you notice in the title, it has something to do with a monster-sized fish, right? Well, we're going to get to that. But this monster-sized fish, my cousin Sam caught. That's right, we're going to get into that. Now, recently, I just got off a fishing trip. You're probably sitting there saying, a fishing trip? Well, yeah. Well, one day. It wasn't like a fishing trip. That, never mind. You follow me, right? My wife and I went fishing with some family members. And we had an awesome time. Oh, my God. I caught a fish. Actually, I caught six of them. But I caught a big fish. The biggest one up to date. So we're going to show you this picture first. And this is not the monster fish I'm talking about. There you go. Here's my fish I caught. Yeah. To me, that's big. Go away. All right. To me, that's huge. Now, I did catch five others, but they ain't worth talking about. Now, the fish that I'm talking about that my cousins caught, both of them, are monster-sized fish. Let me tell you something. My cousins, well, my wife's cousins, actually, They've been fishing a lot. They know every trick. They know everything about it. Every time they go fishing, they catch monster-sized fish. Now, Angie and I are back in new to the game, you know? I fished in my younger days, right? I fished as a young adult, but we I've been out of fishing game for a while. So we're slightly getting back into it. Us compared to her cousins, oh my God, we're amateurs. But anyway, we went fishing. And we had an awesome time. It was hot, buggy, yeah, buggy, but it was an awesome time. We was making memories. We was making memories. And we was fishing, having a good time. Now, Sam uses a different type of bait. Him and his wife, Missy, they make up their own bait. As a matter of fact, you can even eat it. And he does. So the night started coming in a little bit, started to get a little dark. And then the first fish were caught. Well, we did have a turtle. They did catch a turtle. Biggest damn turtle I've ever seen. Don't have a picture. But the first fish was caught by Missy. Missy, show your picture right there. Look at that. A monster-sized fish. But that's not the monster I'm talking about. All right, thanks, Missy. Well, anyway, the night was going on. Now, I caught six fish. The biggest one was the one I showed you. Sam catches a big old fish. I don't have this one, okay? I don't have the second fish he caught, or they caught, but it was big just like Missy's, but a little bit bigger. So the night goes on, and I'm not going to make you guys wait for no more, okay? It's in the video, as the title, Monster Fish. Sam, will you show your fish for the guys? Right there. Now, that's a monster. He pulled that sucker in on his dough ball. Yeah. We're going to leave that up there for a few more seconds so you guys can look at it. That is the biggest fish I've ever seen. Now him, he's caught him like that all the time. This is nothing to him, to him and his wife. They catch monster fish like that all the time. Okay, Sam, we can take the picture away. We're going to use it again for a thumbnail. He catches fish like that all the time. That is nothing to him and his wife. The whole night long. See, two weeks prior to this, they was bringing in monsters in too. And they had other family members with them that was bringing in monsters. And compared to our little, you know, fish like this, and the one you've seen the picture of, <laughs> these are monster fish. So the weekend, or the week, yeah, the weekend, oh my God, might think. Actually, that fan does feel good down here. So the night went on, and... I started getting tired, so I cut out a little early. But they just kept fishing all through the night and catching monsters. Guys, I'm telling you, 
I love the fishing. Oh my God, Angie and I are having so much fun, and it's even more it's even more fun when you're with family. But I've never in my life seen fish this size before. Never. I've seen people on YouTube because I've been watching a lot of fishing on YouTube catch monsters like that. But I have never seen anybody like that. Now remember, I walked down Waterway. Remember, there's a fishing hole down there. One of the places I walk, obviously, I don't walk there that much, at least I haven't been this summer. But I walk down there a lot, and I see people fishing down there all the time. I've never seen them, seen them bringing in monsters like this. And back when I used to fish when I was a younger man, I've never seen monsters this big. I mean, the biggest fish I ever caught in my life was a carp, and it's about, well, not even big as Missy's fish. Right there. The carp I caught wasn't even that big. And it sure in the hell wasn't that big. Monster sized fish. So guys, what we are doing and what we've been doing is making memories. You know, I'm going to cut this video a little bit on the short side because I am in my studio and it's raining outside and I don't want the camera right overheating. But if you guys ever get a chance, go make memories. Okay, We're hoping to hook back up with our cousins again. Uh, maybe this coming weekend, maybe, but guys, I've never seen anything like this in my life, never, and it's a blast, and but let me tell you something, if you need any help, they help you, if you need, they give you their tips, they tell you all the tricks about it, they don't hold it to themselves, and the spot that we went to was one of his favorite, one of their favorite spots, and they invited Angie and I along, making memories, catching monsters. Unbelievable. Now, my picture wasn't a monster, but it's the biggest fish I caught so far well, since Angie and I have been doing what we're doing. And one day I may catch the monster, if it don't break my pole. <laughs> yeah, that's something else I looked at, too. I got a good look at their poles, and they're, they're some nice poles, but they're inexpensive. I do like Missy's pole. I don't know if I like the color of her string or I just like the pole. But anyway, guys, that's what it's all about. Catching monsters and making memories. Catching monsters and making memories. That might be the title. So guys, leave me comments down below. And I tell you what, if my cousin's totally cool with it, next time we go fishing, I will get them catching these monsters. That's right. Maybe I get maybe I get Sam to do some YouTube videos. Maybe he'll give you guys some tips. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll go ahead and get them on film. I should let you guys see. If you guys like what you see, maybe we could talk him to making his own YouTube videos. Because I tell you what, if he gets shared with you guys that he shares with Angie and I, he's worth watching. So until next time, guys, come on. Let's get out of here. I wish you could have seen the first take of this. It was a little bit better, but I'm afraid I'm going to overheat down here. So until next time, come on. Let's get out of here.